It's now time for Mark Hankins. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. When the Holy Ghost starts working, moving, you yield to Him. Amen. He's going to tell you in the time of challenge, count it all joy. One joy, smile. Two joy, start laughing. Three joy, start shouting. Come on. Four joy. So I thought, you know, I thought I want to, I want to write another book and title it. I'm going to get that picture from Pastor George, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to write another book. I'm going to title it while I was laughing. While I was praising, while I was shouting, while I was rejoicing, while I was running, while was dancing. Come on, while I was celebrating, while I was doing that, some serious business happened while I was rejoicing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. So, here's, here's how those 15 years of meetings, Dad Hagen would, the anointing of the Holy Ghost would come. And then uh, he laid hands on a bunch of us preachers uh, in St. Louis, and he said, I want you to carry that. So I'm carrying. I want you to carry that. Come on, we put the word first. We need the word, need teaching on the word. But to carry the anointing and the fire, amen. Come on, you cannot get on fire and act normal, I can tell you that. In other words, the fire of the Holy Ghost. I said, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come on, the psalmist David said, the Lord will light my candle. Then I can run through a troop and leap over a wall, chase my enemies down. Once I get lit. How many of y'all like to get lit this morning? I like to get lit. Get lit today. (laughs) Hallelujah. So Dad Hagen, when that anointing would come, and it's measurable, he said, whenever it's in 100% manifestation, then I won't even have to touch you. He said, you'll just receive that anointing, mix faith with it. It's the anointing that does the work. Amen. So he said, in this particular move of the Holy Ghost, joy in the Holy Ghost, this particular move, he said, when that went... When that anointing starts working in you, see, sometimes I just get close to you, he, but sometimes he would tap you on the head. <laughs> Not too hard, but just kind of a like pop hit you on the head. <laughs> now, most of the time he'd just tap you on the head. If you receive that anointing and then he would say something, most of the time he would say, be blessed. Amen. That's about it most of the time. Just say, be blessed. So I got to where I'd, I'd sit up front, find me a spot. I, I'd say, hit me, baby, one more time. And I, was, I wanted him to tap me, tap me on the head. And then every time I'd go home after those Holy Ghost meetings, the blessing of the Lord would increase and multiply. Now, I know we're already blessed, but apparently there must be more available. (laughs) And so through the laying on the hands, in most cases, he'd just tap you on the head. And he said, in this kind of Holy Ghost meeting, he said, joy in the Holy Ghost. He said, the first thing that'll happen is you'll start laughing. You'll just start laughing. Now, I know most people think that's not spiritual. But the Bible says God sits in the heavens and he laughs. 
you'll have a hard time being more spiritual than God. <laughs> In his presence is what? Fullness of joy. Yeah. In his presence, fullness of joy. You get full of joy. And if God's laughing, you, even if you don't understand the joke, you just laugh just out of respect. God's going, oh, come on. You may be facing a great challenge and you get in his presence. God's going, oh. If you knew what he was laughing about. That means he's already got a plan. He's already working on it. Hallelujah. And he's just going, ha, ha, ha. Just practice for a minute and go, ha, ha, ha. Come on, laughing runs in my family. My father got laughed. Come on, I said he laughs. He's full of joy in his presence is joy. Ha, ha, ha. And the Holy Ghost will have you laughing at the most unusual times. You'll even try to tell him, this is not a good time. <laughs> Wonder what he's trying to do. Maybe he's wanting us to turn our joy up. <laughs> so Dad Hagen said, you'll start laughing. He said, R, he said, the anointing will get so strong, some people won't even be able to stand up or even sit up. We used to have whole rows just fall out. Whole sections fall out. I know Dad Hagen went to heaven, but the Holy Ghost is still here, I'm telling you. The same anointing is still here. Come on, the Holy Ghost is still here. So he said, either that, he said, or you start rejoicing. He said, some people will start dancing. He said, there's a blessing you receive when you dance. Now, we don't have no classes on this. So you just have to do it the best that you can. But apparently it's not a pretty thing. Because when David danced, his wife said, you look ugly. You look like a fool. Some people would receive more miracles if they just didn't have to be pretty all the time. But when David danced, he said, uh, his wife said, you look like a fool. David said, I shall yet be more vile than this. <laughs> You've got to love a man that can talk back to his wife, at least every once in a while. I mean, he could have ruined it for all men if he would have said, I'm sorry, honey, I'll never do it again. <laughs> and then he explained to her why he was dancing. He said, really, it was before the Lord. Come on, sometimes you ought to just rejoice before the Lord. Come on. He said, it was before the Lord. He said, because it was not your daddy, it was not your money, it was not my education that brought me out of the sheepfold. It was the Lord that brought me out. It was the Lord that made me king. It was the Lord that made that dream come to pass. It was, it was the Lord that did that. I had to dance before the Lord. <laughs> Glory, I had to dance before the Lord. Ha, ha, ha. You know, you get happy and the devil will pack up his stuff and get out of the house. Ha, ha. So uh, I've told you this story before, but, but we had been praying for property and, you know, for, for years for property for the ministry office. And anyway, the Lord ended up giving us the most beautiful piece of property and best piece of property on the whole highway, most beautiful, just amazing story. And when we got the property, when I walked on the property, it was like a dream. 
when we got the property, I was on the property, and the Lord said, all those times you were laughing. <laughs> Talking about Brother Hagin's Holy Ghost meeting. All those times you were laughing. All those times you were rejoicing. He said, you really were laughing about something. about something. <laughs> Woo! Come on. While I was rejoicing, while I was laughing, while I was praising the Lord, <laughs> was turning my captivity. Sit back down just for a minute. I'm just about finished. While I was laughing, while I was rejoicing. So I have a friend, you know, and he saw in a Holy Ghost church, you know, this lady was dancing. And he said, Lord, I wish you'd give me a dance like that. Her face, you know, the glory and joy. That's just beautiful. Lord, I wish you'd give me a dance like that. He said, the Lord said to him, son, a dance ain't something I give you. It's something you give me. So if some of y'all are waiting, I said, if some of y'all are waiting, wonder when the Lord's going to give me a happy dance and a shout, come on and a run. Wonder when the Lord's going to do that for me. Whenever you decide, my God is able to do exceeding abundantly of all. Something's turning here right now this morning. I said things are turning here right now this morning. It's turning again for the dream to come to pass, for your destiny, for the will of God for your life, for the blessing of God for your life. He turned my captivity. He turned it again. 
has said he turned it again and he filled my mouth with laughter like a dream. Sit back down, just a minute, just a minute, I'm about finished. Ha, ha, ha. Some of y'all need to practice laughing a while. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, laugh in the face of the enemy. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Don't make me come back there. You know I will come back there. Don't make me come back there. Come on, one touch of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I said one touch of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Woo! Changes everything. One touch of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all. More than we can ask or think that his power that works on the inside. you, but I'm turning my joy up, turning my joy up. Listen, here's what the Lord said to me at one of those meetings. He said, while you are rejoicing here, I'm doing something back at your house. He said, while you're rejoicing here. Yeah. 
Sit back down, sit back down. The Lord turned my mourning into dancing. He turned my sorrow into joy. The Lord turned my captivity. Turned it, he turned it while you're praising, while you're rejoicing. God's doing something in your future while you're praising. God's doing something in your spirit. To God's giving, except our capacity to receive. While you're praising, come on, you're opening up your capacity to receive from God. Increases my capacity. Glory to God. He increases my capacity to receive. Glory to God. You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Do you want to know how to have victory in every area of your life? Do you want to learn how to rejoice no matter the circumstances you're going through? The Lord spoke these words to Pastor Mark Hankins. If you only knew what happens in the spirit when you rejoice, you would rejoice every day. In the book, The Secret Power of Joy, Mark and Trina teaches believers how to bring the heavenly atmosphere of joy into the reality of their daily lives. You will see the relationship between the blood of Jesus and joy in the Holy Spirit. God loved those who are quick to believe him and respond to the Holy Spirit. His joy is the bridge between believing and receiving. And this is good news. Why? Because the Holy Spirit takes what Jesus has done for us and makes it a reality in us. The way we yield to the Holy Spirit is the same way we yield to all the will of God. God not only wants to clean us up, He wants to fill us up. When you order the Joy Package, you also get our brand new book, The Holy Spirit is a Genius. If you listen to Him, He will make you look smart. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Jenna Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and to be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. Your love seed will also help us complete our new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us distribute the word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. For your gift of any amount, you will receive Mark's two books, The Secret Power of Joy, and the Holy Spirit is a genius. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you so much for tuning in today and listening to our message on joy, the secret power of joy. Do you know that if you have joy, you have strength? If you start to get sad and down and depressed and discouraged, you will lose your strength. But if you can stay in joy and determine to keep your joy, no matter what you're facing, you can be strong. And when you are strong, you can keep going and see the end of your faith. I encourage you today to get my dad's book, The Secret Power of joy. It teaches you how to use joy as a tool in your faith. So you can go to markhankins.org or call the number on the screen. Get this book. It will be a helper of your joy. Until next time, I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Have a great day. We want to thank all the Mark and Trina Hankins Ministries partners Amen. who have made this ministry possible. Praise the And Lord. the word is working mightily here. Thank you. Thank you. And she
For over five decades, our desire has been to teach foundational biblical truths to believers around the world. Now, like never before, we see an acceleration of that assignment and are determined to take the message of faith to as many nations possible, seeing lives, churches, and nations transformed by the Word of God. We've been to over 50 countries and have ministered the Word and the Holy Spirit in conferences, churches, and Bible schools. Some of these places we go to again and again, and the seed of the Word is still growing today. Our assignment is to distribute the Word on every avenue possible, broadcasting on TV, websites, social media, the app, and through publishing our books and CDs. We know if we do our part, God will do His part and make sure the Word lands at the right place at the right time. In the last days, the printed page will be the most effective distribution of the Gospel. The stories of people receiving our books in remote places around the world fuels our vision to do what the Lord has called us to do. People are receiving our books deep in the heart of Africa, Vietnam, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Iran, and Pakistan, and so many other places. Our books are currently translated in many languages and distributed in even more countries. Our vision is to have our books translated into a hundred different languages. Getting the written word in the hands of pastors and believers around the world is paramount to igniting the faith of generations to come. The books can go much further than we can. Partners, we ask you to continue to stand and believe with us that the Lord will continue to open the doors to new countries for our books to be distributed. Not only have we seen the faithfulness of God in the distribution of the books, but the television and media ministry has also accelerated as we recently launched out into daily television. We are now on the Victory Channel, BTN, and the Word Network, and are reaching a potential of 150 million homes worldwide. We desire to continue distributing the Word more efficiently. One way we are doing this is through building our brand new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us minister the Word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. We're also streaming our In Christ International Bible College around the world via Facebook and YouTube. This allows anyone in any country to catch the spirit of faith and study the Word at their convenience. With the advances of modern technology, the supernatural acceleration, and the new open doors, we are reaching more people today than ever before. And that's because of you. It's because of our partners that we're able to accomplish the assignment God has for us. When everyone pulls together, we will see amazing things happen for the kingdom of God. We thank you for your continued partnership. We could not do what we're doing without our partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Thank you for watching.